Okay, let's go in and develop the Twitter logo. I've placed it on the canvas using file and place. I'm going to lock this down after reducing the opacity down to 30%, just so I can see the pen tool on top. Layers panel lock. That didn't work. <laughs> reducing that to 30% and going to lock in the layers panel. With the pen tool, I'm going to select the blue and I'm going to add a layer just so I can write over the top with the pen tool. I'm going to create a curve like so. Clicking in that anchor point, I'm going to create another curve. An anchor point here. An anchor point up here. And pulling out the curve. One here also. Pulling out another curve. You'll note that we click each anchor point in each instance to tell the computer that we want to develop a corner as opposed to another curve. So, for the beak, another anchor point pulling out that curve. And the bottom of the beak. Now, we can't go around this with a single curve. Instead, we need to break it into two portions with a midpoint being defined by an anchor point about here. Like so. Closing the shape, clicking the first and final anchor point. So. Just a final adjustment to make the head a bit more perfect. I'm going to click this anchor point here with the direct selection tool and I'm going to use the control handles just to make this curve a little bit more flowing. Bringing down this handle. And I'm happy with that, so that marks the completion of the redevelopment of the, qu the, tw <laughs> the Twitter logo. If you're serious about logo design and want to supercharge your logo design skills, Join us on my logo design course. See the link in the description.